This is our universe now, planets, stars, black holes. But, what will happen in next 100 trillion years? In next 100,000 years, the red supergiant Betelgeuse will explode into a supernova. That would make our night sky for many months. In 295,000 years, Voyager 2 vs. Sirius probe passes within 4.7 light years of the brightest star in the night sky. In 300,000 years, the Wolf Red Star WR104 is expected to explode in a supernova. It has been suggested that it may produce a gamma ray burst that could pose a threat to life on Earth should its poles be aligned 12 degrees or lower towards Earth. In 500,000 years, Earth will likely have been hit by an asteroid of roughly 1 kilometer in diameter, assuming it cannot be averted. In 1 million years, Earth will likely have undergone a supervolcanic eruption large enough to erupt 3,200 kilometers of magma. In 50 million years, maximum estimated time before the moon Phobos collides with Mars. In 100 million years, Saturn will start losing its rings and Earth will be hit by an asteroid comparable in size to the one that triggered the K. PG extinction 66 million years ago, assuming it cannot be averted. In 250 million years, all the continents on Earth may fuse into a supercontinent. In 1 billion years, the Sun's luminosity has risen by 10%, causing Earth's surface temperatures to reach an average of 47 degrees Celsius. In 2 billion years, Earth's surface temperature, even at the poles, reaches an average of 149 degrees Celsius. At this point, all life, now reduced to unicellular colonies in isolated, scattered microenvironments such as high-altitude lakes or subsurface caves, will go extinct. In 3 billion years, there is a roughly 1 in 100,000 chance that the Earth might be ejected into interstellar space by a stellar encounter before this point, and a 1 in 3 million chance that it will then be captured by another star. In 4 billion years, Andromeda Galaxy will have collided with the Milky Way, which will thereafter merge to form a galaxy dubbed Milkomeda. The planets of the solar system are expected to be relatively unaffected by this collision. In 5 billion years, our sun will exhaust its hydrogen and helium, and will be out of fuel. The sun will turn to a red giant star and will engulf Earth, and will also affect other planets in the solar system. In 7 billion years, sun will collapse into a white dwarf star. In 10 billion years, the sun will turn into a black dwarf, there will be no light, the solar system will become darker. In 100 billion years, the universe's expansion causes all galaxies beyond the former Milky Way's local group to disappear beyond the cosmic light horizon, removing them from the observable universe. In 1 trillion years, the cosmic microwave background temperature will rise to about 100,000 degrees Celsius, which means that stars will no longer be able to expel their internal heat, slowly cooking themselves until they explode. In 100 trillion years, high estimate for the time until normal star formation ends in galaxies, there will be no star, the universe will go darker and darker. Hope you liked the video, do like and subscribe, Universe Science.